So I'm here with uh, Daniel Jarosh and Rolf Weber, co-founders of Brands Exclusive. Thanks for having me at your guys' offices. Welcome. Cool. So um, yeah, talk me through a little bit about your guys' backgrounds and, and how you started the business, how you came across the idea. You want to start? Well, <laughs> Dan and I know each other for, for seven, eight years and we've, we've always been looking at what can we do together and it should have been online and it, we looked at business ideas overseas and um, yeah, Daniel went to work with eBay, made some great connections in, in Europe and uh, we came up with the shopping club business model mm -hmm. as the business model that has grounds in, in Australia as well. Yep. And um, in, in 2008 we, we started off with that. My background is in management consulting. I have uh, done lots of work in retail with uh, IKEA as department manager building a store in a wholesale group here in Australia. So hence, I'm more the, the operations guy, um, mm -hmm. making sure that the boxes actually get filled, sales, getting some sourcing, um, production going of the 15,000 products we shoot every month, and uh, then making sure that the boxes actually get to the customers, so logistics, uh, fulfillment, customer service, after sales, and all these kind of things. Right. Um, yeah, Daniel, t talk us through the uh, business model. Brands Exclusive is a private shopping club, so members can buy um, premium fashion brands at discounts at about 80% of retail price. Mm -hmm. We work uh, directly with about 800 fashion and lifestyle brands in Australia and uh, run daily flash sales. So every day a member gets an email notifying the member of a sale and the member can buy the product on our site. And we take care, as Rolf said, from everything from taking the order to fulfillment and also after sales service. So it's not a dropship model you guys? No, absolutely. We, we, we believe it's very important to own the experience from first touch on the site, browsing experience to the very end after sales service. Um, we believe that um, uh, it is absolutely important to own that experience and offer an, an excellent customer uh, experience and customer service to actually get repeat buyers. So we have about 66% repeat buyer rate at That's the moment. Wow. Yeah, yeah. It's great, but obviously we want to even increase yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I'm right in saying it's kind of it's an online retail business but kind of crosses over with the group buying a little bit, but, but it's probably more online retail focused. It's not really group buying, so okay. there's no need for 10 people to come together to make that right, sale take right, over. Right. Uh, we take care of the experience, so we're not selling somebody else's product, or, or we basically sell our product. So uh, we're not relying on, on a restaurant or a sushi bar or whatever yeah. to fulfill our promise. We do that. Yeah. Uh, so we're not gotcha. No, that makes sense. Yeah, we're yeah. not selling a voucher. We're selling the actual product. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And then doing the, full, the whole fulfillment yeah, process. Yeah. Right. No, that's great. Um, talk, talk us through the business. So you started 2008, and yeah, how, talk us through the growth um, of, the, of the business and where it's at today. So we started 2008 um, in this office over here with about four people and four desks and four computers. Today we are about 150 people. Wow, that's great. Based here in Darlinghurst, so we've grown significantly. Um, the sales year on year grew over a thousand percent. So we definitely sort of. Uh, experienced quite a bit of a growth and with it the growth growing pain. Um, when we started um, people, consumers and brands said no one's going to buy jeans online, you have to try them on. Mm -hmm. When we started people saying no one's going to buy shoes online, the people have to try them on and so on and so forth. And yeah. Even though obviously it was a business model that worked very well overseas, we were one of the pioneers approaching brands and the consumer with this proposition to buy top brands online yep. and um, that has been adopted um, uh, very well yeah so it's great so um, talk us through the customer experience side so what, what does the customer experience as they go through the process so we're, we're an invitation only shopping club so to become a member you have to be invited mm -hmm. um, once you're invited you sign up you, we then send you a daily email with 10 to 15 different sales um, with usually well-known Mars or top brands. Um, customer chooses then out of these, out of a range of 50 to 100 products, uh, products they like. Um, in order to get these savings, um, we bulk order 
what we've sold afterwards and then the supplier ships us the, the products we've sold and then we break them into the customer orders and ship them out. Um, so there's a bit of a delay, about two to three weeks delivery time, but on the other hand we're obviously offering 60 to 80 percent off every day, um, so it's worth the wait. And the returns policy? Uh, returns policy is very easy and straightforward. If you don't like it, ship it back. If it's faulty, we obviously pay for both ways shipping. Right. Um, yeah, it's online shopping, so sometimes your screen has a different color to my screen. Yep. Yep. Um, it's not as expected, so yeah, of course you can ship it back and then we refund the product for you. It's fantastic. Yeah. Um, and how did you guys go about raising funding to launch the business? Um, we launched the business in the financial crisis 2008, yeah. so we raised a little bit of seed money at the time in Europe and uh, launched the business then uh, here in Australia. Um, we pretty much grew organically, we did one A-series in uh, 2009, so got uh, another um, group of investors in, so it's the same investors that uh, invested in Facebook, Skype, Spotify, so uh, out of uh, Switzerland. And um, we went with them at the time because they provided something else than just money, so they had an investment in 12 other shopping clubs uh, worldwide, and um, they provided access to a knowledge base that you can pay for it. It was really priceless. So we are to date still in contact with all the shopping clubs in in India, in Canada, in Turkey, in Switzerland, in Germany, in, in Brazil, in the UK. And so a very, very close knowledge exchange. So three weeks we're flying up to Delhi, yeah. Delhi for another shopping club conference. So just oh, wow, unique right. because we're we're able to share knowledge openly. Yeah. Um, without risk of confidentiality really because we're not operating in each other markets and not really competing so what every shopping club goes back with and what we've come back with in the last couple of times is quite quite tremendous and that ranges from fulfill which is very tricky because of like, cross stocking 250,000 units every month yeah, um, yeah. to how to do marketing in our business model um, hiring, what kind of people do we need, so there's a lot of knowledge that, that's shared and brought back to business. If you guys had, um, say, three top tips on what's helped get your business to the place it's in now that, that you could share with other Australian online retailers, what, what would your top three be? First one is close the door when you do an interview. <laughs> 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 Can you actually press that button? Yeah. The little button inside. Yeah, um, for us, I mean, it's very individual what kind of business you, you, you're planning to, to build. Um, for us, it was definitely the values and the culture you want to implement. Do that before you launch, because once you launch, you don't have time to do it anymore. Yeah. So like Shoes of Prey, which we think is an absolute great business, because you can really tell that, that you have a brand promise, you have a brand story, and everything is built around it. Uh, for us, it was um, very important to have a culture. Um, so everyone that we've hired sort of has to fit sort of into the culture of the place. It is something that we live and breathe. It's um, something that we say is most important in our business. Mm -hmm. um, second is it is an online business. We don't know um, how the world's going to look like in two years. So you have to continuously innovate. And if you innovate, you have to accept to fail. So it is part of our culture, but it's also when you build a product Accept failure, fail small, fail fast, learn from it and do it again. So one of the things um, you need to implement is that, that people actually talk about the failure. Don't try to hide them because there's something there, it's nothing there. Yeah. So these were two things that... Um, well, it's people. We, yeah. um, we're in a fashion business and Dan and I admittedly are not the fashion gurus. So the first thing we did... Look at that. Wearing is one thing. <laughs> But uh, yeah, the first and best investment we've done got in our head by our head saucer um, to, to break the problem we had being small, not a lot of customers, you don't get a lot of brands, don't have a lot of brands in you because you don't have a lot of customers. So yeah. we, we needed somebody and we found somebody and um, to break that to great people to get yeah. 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 going. That's good.
Daniel, at the um, recent online retail uh, industry conference, you did a you did a presentation there, and uh, one of the things that you mentioned was um, picking different marketing ideas and spending a test budget on those, and then doubling down on what works. Can you talk us through that? Yeah. So that's um, it, it goes in line with what I said before. So sort of fail fast, fail small. Mm -hmm. So what we've done from the very beginning on have a certain test budget. So that's a budget a marketing manager has to try out new things, doesn't need to any sign off. And by the way, in the beginning it was $50. So when we tried certain things on SEM, so we put $50 there, $100 there, whatever you need to get a meaningful result. So for us in certain areas it's like $5,000. And this way you can test new channels, new creatives, new messages and see what impact they have on either sales, branding or retention and it's a bit like data trading so online marketing allows you to have this instant testing and instant feedback mm -hmm. so that's what we do in marketing it works really well it's great and by the way that's uh, it's um, one of the advice I'd give a startup um, obviously if you have a marketing agency they all win big contracts the minimum is fifty thousand or a hundred thousand dollars if they don't do a test with you, it's probably not worth going with it. So if you, it's really important for you to do a thousand dollar test or a five thousand dollar test with a new channel on something, I believe that a marketing partner can provide that. We found that most of them actually. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, that's good advice. Um, and finally, Rolf, where, where do you see the business headed over the next two, three, five years? So we're already something like a marketplace for seven, eight hundred brands. Um, the biggest or the biggest fashion flash sale retailer in Australia. Um, what we need to do in the next six to twelve months is focus stronger on the categories, so get more brands online, get more members to, to buy those products, uh, convert our, our membership as well to buyers. So, so that's what we're going to do in the next six months, six to twelve months. So we're hiring specialist buyer in the footwear categories, for example. Um, yeah. That's part of the short-term strategy. Online retail in Australia is changing very, very fast, so we have to adapt on the way. Yep. And you were telling me that you, you, you kind of have a big picture of where you're headed, but you focus on kind of six six months out is kind of the... It is e-commerce. The business is, is, is going so fast. The business the environment is changing so fast. So we know mobile is coming. We don't know what shape or form is going to have. We know social is going to rise. So all these sort of things, and you need to be reactive. So having a 12-month plan is nice. But you need to do it to sort of at least <laughs> satisfy your need. But in reality, it's, it's a lot shorter. It's a shorter time. Time. Yeah. Great. Well, congratulations on building such a fantastic Australian-based online retail business, and thank thanks you. for having a chat. Thanks, thanks Michael. Michael.